Stephanie Osborne, Century 21 Sawyer & Associates, and I am on the seller's roadmap and we are on number seven. So we are so close on these eight steps. So this one is the final detail. So while under contract, the buyer will work with their mortgage provider to finalize the loan and perform other due diligence. This also includes the inspection period. The buyer will usually perform a physical inspection of the home. They may even ask you to make certain repairs. I will explain all of your options regarding the inspection. So this is completely normal. If you're spending this much money, you want to know that what you're buying is a good investment. So the buyer, the buyer puts in their work now. The seller, you've already put in your work previously. Now is your time to sort of sit back, relax, let the buyer do what they need to do. You don't have to worry about new people coming in, looking at your house, sort of judging. Although the home inspector is coming in, he's not judging the way your house looks or the way it smells, although we want to keep it straight. He is really making sure that all of the, the operating systems in the house are functioning the way they are supposed to. Okay, so this is completely normal. And sometimes I have sellers who really get aggravated and say, it's so annoying for the home inspector to be here. But really just this is the last little push that I need from you guys to give the buyer time and space to do what they need to do so they feel comfortable. Also during this time, the seller sometimes feels like there's a lull and nothing's happening because in the beginning you were doing all the work that you had to leave you had to get the house ready you had to really all everything was on you and now everything is sort of on the buyer so sometimes the sellers get nervous and feel like what's going on I, I don't know but we sometimes are just waiting on the buyer to turn in the documentation to the loan officer to get all of their ducks in a row so that they can close to do the home inspection they're waiting on the home inspector to get the report done and turn it back into them so sometimes there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that you sometimes don't know about or don't hear about or you don't feel that that work going on and so just rest assured behind the scenes work is happening so after the inspection is done they are going to present to you what's called a due diligence repair request and basically it is a list of items that the home inspector has pointed out that maybe needs attention because it needs to be repaired or replaced. So all of these things are normal. It doesn't mean you have to fix everything that they come up with. Again, it's sort of up for negotiation. Um, how I try to tell people is that if it's not working the way it's intended to work, that is a reasonable request that we really need to consider. And sometimes you don't have to make the repairs. Sometimes it's a matter of giving the buyer a dollar amount for them to make the, the repairs after closing. So there's a bunch of different ways we can work it. Don't be discouraged. Don't be disappointed if they come back with some items. It is completely normal and everything is up for negotiation all right so I will present this I will help again navigate for you but again I give you the information ultimately you're the decision maker so we'll get through it and now closing is right around the corner